What's up? What up? What are you saying? What? What are you saying? I said, what up? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can. <laughs> I don't like my glasses. They bug me. Nah, dude, they're dope. Move them on. Yeah, you think so? I don't know. Kind of... He looks sophisticated as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> One sec. All right, let's see. All right, there we go. I got him on. All right. What's up, man? Nothing. Chilling. <clears throat> did you see my new gym? I did. It looks really cool. Does it? I like it. Look, let's check it out. Let's show everybody at home. Let's show Show the people. Yeah, there's. you can see them. Bud. Ian, what's up, man? What's up? Did you see Hi, my, Ian. Did you see my new gym? Huh? Did you see my new gym? Yeah, it's looking nice. That uh, big six-piece thing you got. Looks yeah, good. I, got, I got the multi-station. Yeah, I saw it. The pre-core? Yeah, check it out. This thing. I, wa I watch your shit. Come on, man. Yeah, I know. It's really cool, man. Beautiful. This thing, I was so happy when this came in because I'm like, now I can finally... I feel like I can't train without a multi-station. You can't. It feels like you can't, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Nick, how much of your stuff do you do on the multi-station like this? Use it a lot? I do quite else? a bit. I do quite a bit. I mean, the inner cables you do a lot. Well, obviously, everyone does like a lot of arm stuff on. I never use seated rows, to be honest. I really? I, would lo I love seated cable I rows. I just did those yesterday. I never did much. Really? No. I throw them in I, I, like every sorry. other back workout, I think. I throw in low, low cable row. No. They're probably one of my favorite exercises. I yeah. might do some standing rows like on the lower cables, but most of the stuff I do is all plate loaded machine stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I feel like the cable station just makes like, puts every ties everything together for sure it's good for it's good for warming up it's good for finishing it's good for arms and it's like that's like a centerpiece of a gym you know like that's like the middle kind of big focal point you know that's the only thing i didn't like about the space i got i didn't put it in the middle of the gym i put it kind of off to the side yeah yeah so i think yeah, I, I think that's fine. i just like because i only got about four thousand square feet and i figured if i put it right in the middle of the gym it's going to take up Way yeah, too, way too much area, right? Yeah, no, that's good. You, got, you don't need it in the center for sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So that happened today, so that's pretty good. So I think I'm almost ready to start using my place. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know if this is the most updated. I think this is, in my my opinion, I don't know, but probably one of the most competitive Arnold's for sure. This isn't updated at all. This isn't updated, is it? No, that's the, that's like the original. Yeah. Then you've added like uh, three or four guys to that. Who's in it? Who else joined beside me and um, Roly? You and Roly and someone else. Where's the, has somebody got a, a, a updated one I can find somewhere? Go to Arnold twenty twenty one. The little highlight reel. Does that say it? <clears throat> no, it's nothing there yet. No. 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 Um, okay. Well, we we pretty you guys pretty much know anyways who's I mean, in it. We'll so. just say that list plus plus Nick and Roly. So, okay, well, who's on that fucking list now? I want to talk. Uh, about it. Well, first, before we get into it, I want to ask you guys, isn't anybody just focused on the O? Well, why can't you be focused on both? I don't know. Like, I talked to James. James uh, we already like, had this conversation. I think I was on one of the podcasts. Where we I said. talked to James. James is like, fuck that. I'm just going to wait and wait. All, I hope all these motherfuckers get tired. I'm just going to be going to beat all of them. I mean, if you're, <laughs> if you're someone like James and you think that getting tired and that you will potentially regress for the Olympia is a possibility for you, well, then obviously the Arnold is not for you. Yeah. If you're someone like me or Nick, where we know for a fact that we get better and that think that two weeks between shows is good and it could be a good opportunity to – stand up next to some big names before the Olympia and get a bit of, you know, momentum and maybe a paycheck is a, a nothing but a good opportunity in my mind. But don't you think, but it could hurt you though. Why? If, if you, if you get your ass. Well, this is, this is what I think. And yeah, but if I get my ass beat, I'm going to get my ass beat at the Olympia. So what just fucking wait, just wait to stop. Just oh, no, I'm, everybody... I'm, answering, I'm answering. I know, but just take, just stop cutting everybody off. <laughs> <laughs> you guys got to so, you're going too fast. There's a there's yeah, how many how much cleanse did you take? There's today, a cadence. Bro? Yeah, I know. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he he's like, brr, brr, brr. he's flying. He started, started the started the keep up with him. started the cutting drugs. He's fucking fucking ramped right up. Um, no, I was gonna say uh, I forgot what I was gonna fucking say now. Oh, I was gonna say if you do the show before, don't you believe in like momentum? Yes. Right. So if you do the show, say right, and you lose to like. Sergio, Justin, fucking Akeem, and then you show up at the Olympia. Now you have a hill to climb instead of showing up even. 
Yeah, but now you're going under the premise that you think you're going to do bad when you're obviously, if you have a mindset like Nick, where it's like, I'm going to go in to win the show. Why would you ever think, oh, I might do bad and it might ruin my momentum. You're like, I'm going to do good. And that's going to carry on as positive momentum into the Olympia. So you're doing the show with zero chance of error. You're like, what if you have, what if you have zero chance of error? Zero chance of error going into the Olympia and you could fuck up at the Olympia. Like what's the difference? But this, but the momentum is the difference because I believe in momentum to shows. Yeah, but this is is an opportunity for positive momentum. It could be. Yeah. It could be. But I just feel like stepping on stage at the O starts you at zero, right? You're like, I'm going to go in against the best people in the world at zero. And then we're all going to see where... What are you idiots doing? You guys are like a fucking. Are you guys having your own podcast on the side? I don't know about. Like, I don't know what's going on either. What you're, is going that? Be, you're just going back and forth forever. Well, why don't you jump in? Tell me what you think. No, just go ahead. No, it's okay. I, I want to know what you think. I, 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 to not look at it logically, regardless, if you go in and lose, that shit momentum. If you go in and win, it's good momentum. So it, there's. Jay, exactly Jay Cutler said I should do the Arnold. So I'm doing the Arnold. There's, you, you can't. That's literally, if you go in and, and win, that's here to the Olympia. If you go in and get your ass kicked, it's that. So, and if I mind, if I go and get my ass kicked, well, then I'm gonna, I'm not gonna be fucking leaps and bounds better in two weeks, you know? No, I'm but just, my, but, no but, but, okay. So, so guy, you're saying you agree with momentum. So what I'm saying is, I think we all agree with momentum. Okay, so then my point is this: Let's say you go in and you're not at your best, and you lose a couple spots. Now I feel like if you're, you have to make up now instead of going in at your best at the Olympia and already being at even. See, now the problem is, is that if you're, you're looking at two sides to a square, and there's a negative side, there's a glass half full and the glass half empty side. You're just looking at the glass half empty side. But see, look, I'm, if, I'm just saying I wouldn't take the chance. That's all I'm saying. If you're a guy that gets that's better, that's also, sorry, go ahead. If you're a guy that gets better after the first show, that's, that's a game. positive thing. But the but the negative side to that is that you then might not be at your best at the Arnold, which could give you a, a lesser placing. So it's it's a very touchy subject, like as far as like which one's right, which one's wrong. But I think regardless, if you're somebody that has, at this, at this, if you're doing the Arnold, you should obviously know by now what you can and can't do as far as your body. So if you're somebody that you know, regardless of how you do it that show, if you're somebody that knows that at, if you could do one show that you get progressively better or stay the same or you just don't get worse then i i don't think it's a bad decision but you need to know your body before you make that decision like this is- I, I like back in the day i could do fucking five six shows in a row and i know i'm good because i know my body stays right around the same place now it's a little different but if you're somebody who after one show you fucking you go down or whatever you have to know that. Then, ah, that may, might not be a fucking good choice. Well, this is what I said at the beginning, and why someone like James, if they're saying this isn't, it might not yeah. be a good idea. But for someone yeah. like you or I, we know it could be advantageous. I understand what Fuad's saying. It's like, okay, but then if you're going to get better, you're not as good at the Arnold as at the Olympia. I, I understand that. But I also yeah. understand that a lot of those guys are also doing the Olympia and they're in the exact same boat you are. Yeah, Let's yeah. agree that it's a crapshoot, to be honest with you. Is it's what not it a is. crapshoot. It's just equal oh. opportunity for everybody. Yeah. It's Guys like, you know, guys like Akeem and guys like these that, you know, guys that I, I think I'm in the same ballpark with can fuck it up just like I can. And I think I have a less chance of fucking it up and getting an edge on them going into the Olympia. I think for me, it's only right. positive, you know? I think uh, I think it's really exciting. Well, listen, I'm mostly asking these questions just for the show, just to give, give people a full spectrum of what's going on and why. In my opinion as a fan, I think it's fucking awesome. Mm-hmm. as a fan i'm like this is great i'm like these guys are all going to meet and then they're going to meet again two weeks later that's yeah. what i'm saying it's pretty yeah. much like an olympia before the olympia yeah. Yeah. Matches, bro it's awesome yeah. no no no. As a, as a fan it's absolutely fucking incredible i'm just Look, trying to give people a, an idea of what the behind the scenes thinking is and i agree with guy and i agree with you that, that for some people this could be a bad idea if you're someone that is not consistent with your peaks or you tend to hold water after shows you know, you know that if you do the Arnold and you're going to shoot up 15 pounds, it's going to be a fucking work to get it off after that show going into the Olympia. The Arnold's not for you. I would say that. If you're an Olympia qualified guy, don't do it. Mm. You're probably going to hurt yourself more than you're going to help yourself. I think in my personal experience and what Nick's saying for himself as well, I think it's it can only be a good thing. Look, yeah, yeah. you might fuck it up. There's chances with that with every show. I might fuck up my Olympia prep. I mean, you, you never know. Um, but you obviously, you know, go on the side of, I believe that I will get it right. And if you go into that with that mindset, I think 
in that case, looking at the, the glass half full side, it's, there's only positive things. Well, but yeah, for, you can fuck up every show for sure. For you, <laughs> Ian, for you, Ian, it's definitely a positive. Yeah. Because you always seem to get better. I mean, and at this point, I'm not even Olympia qualified. So it's like, you know, yeah, maybe yeah. my Olympia. I have no idea. So, I mean, yeah. for me, it's like I, I'm, I'm putting my – look, and the thing is, too, if I get – four weeks out from the Arnold and I'm like, holy shit, I don't think this is going to be a good idea. I'll decide not to do the Arnold. I obviously don't want to ever have to back out of the show, but if that becomes the case, then that will be it. Obviously my, pr my primary focus is on the Olympia. If it comes the time where I'm qualified for that, but I believe I can do both and do my best at both. So, okay. So now that we've cleared up the strategies, Nick, uh, looking at this list, plus the people that we just said, you and Roly. Well, you can't ask. He obviously is going to say he's going to win. What's the point? I'm of not going to ask. I'm not asking. <laughs> Let me ask the fucking question, fucking Clen Bomb. Just take it. Easy. Like, just reduce the Clen a little bit. Um, okay. okay. Uh, now I don't know what I want to ask. First of all, Sounds to me, it was, it was the ball was thrown to Nick. I probably, what did he think? He would, I don't know. Nick, do you think you're going to win? <laughs> See, you go with it. I oh, he was, oh, it he was trying to deflect it. It wasn't going to go oh, there, and I forgot I what I was going to ask. I was going to actually say. You said Nick looking at this lineup, and then I, I was, what I was going to, the first thing that came to mind was, is it exciting to see Cedric back at the Arnold, and is it going to be the first show, or do you think he's going to step on stage before that? Ooh, Nick. I don't think it'll be his first show. Yeah, I think so, too. Agreed. So we don't think Cedric's doing the Olympia this year? He's not trying to no. get there? I don't think he's going to be. I don't think he's going to make a shot to do a show in the next five weeks, which is really all there is. Somebody yeah. Hassan should get like a medal for literally doing every open show. This yeah. entire, he's fucking been in every show yeah. that I've seen. Is he do in Chicago. Yep. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Him and Shabon are both doing Chicago. Nick, what do you think the top three is in this lineup? Top three. Yeah. This lineup right here. The one we're Wait, looking don't at. Don't do that. I'm not. I'm not picking names. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my God. Really? Well, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say looking at this lineup, I'm gonna say Bonac is the is probably the front runner. Yeah. Right. Well, of course. Well, I mean, you just you just said you didn't want to answer, so I'm answering for you. Well, I'm just gonna agree with you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Guy, what do you think? Is Bonac the front runner here? Yeah. What about Roly though? Is Roly going to be? You said this lineup. I said no, no, no I know, but then we're adding we're adding Roly and Nick. So, so just look at this. Lineup okay, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I listen. Me and Roly text all the time, and I do not mean this in a disrespectful way. It's hard to be a front runner when you haven't really won anything big. That's not necessarily true. I mean, if you're top five at the O every fucking year, you can still be a front runner. Yeah, but Roly hasn't really I'll, I'll, I'll nailed it. Yeah. I'm just saying, if you're always in the discussion for first, Roly, Roly's always in the discussion because Roly's the guy who we see have never nailed it, and if he does fucking nail it, there it's going to be like an oh shit moment for everybody. Yeah. Always and I think we're waiting for that oh shit moment that happen because if it does, he <laughs> can fucking beat everybody. If he comes in inside out peeled, I think he has the ability to smoke everybody. That's how much hustle and crazy I think Roly is. But it, he out of everybody is the biggest if factor yeah I agree. yeah he's a wild card but he's but he's also the biggest threat he's yeah. the biggest threat and the biggest if factor yeah it's gonna be exciting arnold man it looks it's a lot of good names on there but we have chicago coming up tampa bay um oh, dallas we got a bunch of shows coming up first so Gee, we'll see it's gonna be it's gonna be exciting end of the season though Right? It seems like all the shows are condensed kind of at the end of the season. Yeah, we got Portugal. I'm excited. Yeah. Yeah, for Texas. Yeah. All right. Um, what's going on with everybody? Ian, you're five weeks out. You're on a bunch of clan. How are you feeling? <laughs> I took a bunch of clan. Just joking. I took 20 micrograms at like fucking 9 a.m. Okay? I'm just <laughs> fucking with you. <laughs> what? Uh, how are you feeling? How's the prep going? Great. Excellent. Yeah. I lose power again. I swear to God. Are you still lifting heavy and shit, or are you starting to back off a bit? No, I don't back off that shit. Never? Uh, I mean, like, look, certain exercises, like, like my barbell deadlifting, I've switched over to only doing RDLs, and, like, an RDL, I don't push to, like, yeah. maximal, maximal failure. Like, I don't risk it with that. Uh, but, like, I'd say maybe two reps in reserve on, a, on an RDL. Everything else, I push to failure. Calories still high? 
Yeah, I mean, like it. Um, I have three higher days, so that's on like my chest, back, and quad days. Yeah. Then I have some medium days, and then I have like the lower days on the days that I don't train. So, yeah. so, so uh, the days like- I don't train, I might have like uh, I don't know, two hundred grams of rice and like four meals plus a hundred grams okay. of oats or whatever that is. So I mean, I'm still eating a good so amount. So it's not too bad. Yeah. You're not like starving. Oh, and like my cardio, I'm doing like 30 minutes fasted. Like it's yeah. like nothing crazy. You know? Guy, are, you, are you still working back from uh, your working weekend? back as far as what? Like, are you still working back towards the show or what are you doing? What, I don't understand. What you're, you're, back, doing another show. you're back are in you Puerto Rico. Saying? Are you? Yeah, are I, you, we, we went over this on the fucking podcast. Well, you're back on the podcast, and you said I wasn't sure what I want to do. I might do Tampa. I might yeah, do yeah, Tampa. Yeah, so I'm yeah, trying to get a straight I, fucking I, I, answer. Yeah, Chicago. Chicago wasn't going to happen because okay, I, guy, can I explain good. something to you? So this oh, is a boy. podcast, and there's people listening. And no, I thought I, the people no, listening I aren't I always said the on same the last podcast that I was doing Tampa. Yeah, so but he was when, at the question. Okay. But Ooh, it's not spicy. the same people. Oh. He's, spicy. he's in a little spike. He's got the glasses <laughs> on. I, I'm the spicy one. That's the pot calling the kettle black. I have been the most laid back this entire podcast. <laughs> it's a fucking spark plug. Who had spicy? See, look, now you guys are fighting. <laughs> I said, who had spicy? You know, you know what? Every time I look at you, I want to eat fucking key lime pie. Because <laughs> of this fucking shirt? It's a great shirt, though, isn't it? Guy, I said Fu had spicy. I said he puts his fancy glasses on and he's fucking boss. Oh, around. yeah. Spice <laughs> bag. All right. So, no, like, but yes, Tampa. So are you competing? Did you decide yet? Yes. Tampa. Okay. So how many weeks? Four Five and weeks? Half, like three and a half? Four and a half. Four and a half. Four and a half. No. You know Tampa's four and a half weeks. You know who's doing the show. You know who's oh, doing yeah. Well, it can't, who? Bo's doing that show. Bo. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He hit me up. He's gonna. He hit me up too. He's gonna fucking. He's gonna nudge you with his fucking monster. Yeah. Yeah. Big, big dick yeah. Bo. Big dick Bo. I stood next to him. I stood next to him on stage. I just tried I to make sure somebody between me and him. I couldn't stand next to him, bro. I don't I mean. Yeah. Right yeah you don't want to be the guy that fucking will has to walk out after him. <laughs> he actually me messaged, he messaged me to tell me that he doesn't, good... he doesn't message me to tell me that he doesn't wear a sock. He doesn't wear a sock. He doesn't wear a sock. No shit, man. That no. shit is all oh, him. What do you imagine if you did wear a sock? <laughs> well, we were talking about wearing a sock backstage to get tanned. Uh, oh, I know you meant like stuff a sock in his trunk. No, he doesn't wear a sock to get tanned. I don't oh, wear a sock wait, either. Wait, wait. He Bro. messaged you and said, <laughs> wait. <laughs> Didn't say it. Fucking, oh, I love him. I mean, he you to just, tell you. I swear to God. Why? Because they don't make socks wide enough? <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, what, what kind of fucking sock is he going to put on there anyways? <laughs> this guy needs to get a fucking tube extra wide tube find, stuff. find the message here. <laughs> so we talk for a minute. We talk for a minute. And then out of the blue, he goes, I don't wear a sock either, LOL. I'm with Jamie on that one. So... <laughs> No, 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 sock. no shit you don't wear a fucking sock, man. Nick, are bad. you staring at his penis? I feel bad for Sides? the girl who's got to tan him. <laughs> I mean, how do you not? Yeah, I don't, I don't wear a sock neither. No. Yeah, but you're not Bo. <laughs> you <just> said, <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, man? Well, I'm just saying. <laughs> look, 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 even a, even a big normal is still not Bo. That was, that was good comedic timing there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Nick, what's going on with you, man? How's everything going? Great. Have you started your prep yet? Yeah. How many weeks till the Arnold? Um, it'll be 11 this weekend. So you're still going pretty heavy on food and everything, right? You're not cutting back too much yet. Have you started, no. started the cutting drugs yet? Um, no, <laughs> not yet. Did you think about it? A little bit. All right. You see, I'm getting a little bit of a tan here. You see this? I've been tanning. Are you, okay. using, are you using Milano tan or are you tanning tanning? Well, both Milano tan without tanning just makes you look fucking. I I've never, I've never, I've never used it, so I don't know. I've never it used gave it. Me more fucking um, birthmarks like moles. Uh, I don't really get it. Just the ones that I have get like darker, or like I have a birthmark on my side that you can like barely see, and when I use Milano tan, it goes like dark, dark. You know? Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm using a little. Well, okay. <laughs> Funny story here. So I I got some Milano tan, and I couldn't remember how much to take. So I got the bottle, and I was like you know, mix it up. And I'm like, okay, well, you know, I need to get tan quick. Like it's five weeks. So I better fucking get this, you know, party started. 
So I obviously shot way too much. I, I don't know, but I, it completely ruined like a day and a half for me, man. I took it before bed because it always makes me feel a little funky. I must have gone to bed at two. I was up at like four, felt like fuck, couldn't go back to sleep, got out, slept on the couch. Then the whole next day, I just felt like, like, like fluey, you know, like achy, yeah. Fluey, yeah. like fucking shit. So then the next day or two days later, when I went to do it again, I was like, okay, well, I'll go half that. So I went from, you know, 20 to 10 or whatever. Still felt fucked up, but I did five yesterday and that seemed to be okay. So, yeah. You look like you're coming in, actually. Did it ever make you nauseous when you take it? I remember taking it, it used to make me like, like terrible. right away, terrible. like nauseous. Yeah, terrible. I, I hate it. If I, if I didn't feel that it sped up the process so much for me, I would never take it. Yeah. You know, but like I know, especially for the first like two weeks until I get like into the strong tanning beds, like no problem. Um, I, I use it just to like expedite that process from like zero to a hundred. And then once I'm at a hundred, I'm good. But, uh, but yeah, until I get like, but already I went like the first day I did like six minutes in a low bed. And then I went seven, then I went nine, then I went 11. So like I already went 11 minutes in, in a, 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 that intensifies it, right? Tanning with it, with the melanotan. Yeah. Yeah. So once I can get up to the next level bed and then I'll stop taking it. And mm. then once then it'll kind of speed up once I'm in the good beds, but, but fuck, I fucking hate this stuff, man. Nick, do you take it at all? Mm -mm. that sounds horrible i don't even want to now no don't don't do it but you so. tan you seem like you tan pretty your tan was good in new york yeah but i don't, I don't like tan you don't tan I mean, at all it's just pro, just the right? pro tan yeah oh okay i need to i fucking i get so muddy looking if i don't or i'm light or i'm just too light yeah i wonder if that's a ph thing like i don't know because you guys are both light skin no i'll tell you this as soon as that's for me i i do the same tanning combo all the time and that, when I started putting my tan on Thursday night and it started going on a little like odd colored, that is always a fucking huge sign to me that something with the water and the body's not right. Because if my tan's not going on perfect, that usually means something's out of whack with my body. And that started happening with the first fucking coat. And I was like, ah, oh, that's not a good sign. Yeah, that's very true. Guy, can you turn your hat around? Oh, uh, why? Because the... Uh... There's shadow on your face, yeah. But well, we normally do 11 a.m. and then he changes it to 8 p.m. Well, we were doing 8 p.m. because for Nick, I had to be at the gym today. They were putting together my multi station. I couldn't, I couldn't do today early. I have, a, but I always fuck with my hat, so you just gonna have to. When do it. I get a not in front of you shirt? It's I got it downstairs. All right, I got to order one. Do I, can I order on your website? No, I'll send it to you. You got four X, dude. Ready for this. So I Is sold out of Nick, like a lot of spots. Nick, you just ignore. You just ignore me. No, no, no. Listen, I so sold out of a lot answer, of socks. Answer, Nick. I'm. Go I don't have four X's. I had three X's. But listen, <laughs> I order fifteen of every <laughs> size. Do it all, and every time I order clothes, I order fifteen or twenty of every size. But three X and small are the two that really don't sell a lot. So I order five and five. Everything else is twenty. Yeah. Sw the first order on. The day I released them, somebody bought all five triple X's, the same guy. And I messaged him. I was like, did you do that on purpose or was that an accident? Because like, I, if not, I got to put them back on the site. He's like, no, no, no. I meant to buy all five. <laughs> so wear one every day? <laughs> the fuck? That's all right. Who cares? But I have other shirts coming in. Like I, I already ordered. I ordered stuff a long time ago. Like like I ordered um, a couple things weeks apart. So it comes in. Um like a couple weeks apart so i have like consistent flow yeah. to my merchandise or any of them four x's no but i can i can special order you a four x if you want one <laughs> well then get i would two. like a 4X. I get two because i want one too you want a four x two fuad no i'm not big enough you want a medium to match your pants that you want oh. <laughs> oh the pants! Oh, you mean the pants you started wearing? Also, oh, I, I, I should have said. I knew when I said it. I was like, "Fuck!" I hope he doesn't think. You're like, "Hey, those medium pants look good. I think I'm gonna start wearing those." Minor XLs, you can fucking. <laughs> All right, let's do some questions. If your wife or girlfriend comes home with her super hot girlfriend and says she wants to have sex with her, and you can watch but not participate, what would you do? Wait, says wait. They could have sex together. Yeah, but you can't touch them. But you can watch. But you can watch. Sure. I'm not doing it. My wife now. I'm not fucking. Okay, do I know the friend already? I don't know. It's just, oh, right? yeah, yeah. It says she comes home with her super hot girlfriends. So you probably met her already. So if it's someone of her friends that I like, know and like, it's like, yeah, sure, whatever. Yeah. No, fuck that. I want to be involved. Bullshit. 
Why does she get to have fun? I want to have fun. Well, I don't. I don't want to be involved. To be honest. No, I don't want to be involved either because that's a nightmare. Yeah, that's causing too many issues. I'd rather not be involved. No way. Yeah. What wow. The fuck? Wow. You're. We're actually all against you on this one. This no. that, oh, surprise! That happens all the time. <laughs> you, start, you, start, you start giving a little too much attention. You start giving a little too much attention to friendly here, dude. It's gonna cause a world of problems. Guy, welcome to my podcast. I'm always the odd man out. <laughs> That's I don't weird. care. I'm still, I, I still hold my, my, I'm like, if I can't be part of that shit, it's not happening. I've, I've been, I've, uh, I've been offered and turned down. As long as I can get close enough to like <laughs> see the good angles. And, like you know, a, like, it, you know, it's like, as long as I can smell, I, as as I was gonna say. <laughs> like waft it over. I'm as good. long as I can waft, I'm good. Yeah. Imagine how much of a tease that would be though. Yeah. That's good. No. That's, that's good memories to have. I'm, I'm down. Spank bank material, the old highlight reel. Yeah, but the spank bank material would be better if you were involved. Yeah, well, just sit in the corner in the fucking with like the lights yeah, off. What's gonna happen is either what Ian said, you're gonna start <laughs> showing more attention to that, or what, or the the girlfriend start nah. being like, oh, you could easily just do it once and be done with it. No, not worth it. Tough guy. If it was a girlfriend, I'm sure. Just- if it was a girlfriend that I was like, man, nah, whatever. But if it was my wife, there's no way I wouldn't. It's not worth the. Yeah, okay, what if? Okay, I'll give wife. you a different. I'll give you a different scenario. I'll give you a different scenario. What if same scenario, but you're on vacation and it's a random girl you're never going to see again? No, I don't share. No, what I, yeah. the fuck is wrong with you guys? Are you guys serious right now? Yeah, yeah that's where that's where my line gets crossed. Not with my like like I said, if it was with my wife with Melissa, no. If it was like a high school girlfriend, yeah, sure, maybe, because like it's like not so serious, but guy, it's just not worth it, man. Guy, you're full of shit. You, you're on my side. You're you're the promiscuous one. I, I, <laughs> yeah, but guys, been, guys been married. Guys been married. He knows the world of her that can cause. Totally, just trying to get you in trouble. Everybody <laughs> thinks I'm a fucking. I literally everybody thinks I'm a whore because of you. I just try to get you in trouble every week. <laughs> I know, and you know what? There's certain fucking individuals that actually fall for it. I know. <laughs> it's insane. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'll stop. I'll stop. I'll stop. You're no, not for, I'm just, I'm because just some of the people actually know me really well, and they're like, "Hey, was Floyd serious?" One, and I go, "You're are you serious? <laughs> oh, ready okay. for this? Hold no, on. no, wait. But we haven't solved Hold anything on. yet. Who cares? This is a whole, we don't solve shit on this podcast anyway. No, but, okay. Listen on True. Uh, Fourth of July. Yeah. My brother fucking calls me and my mom. Somebody called my parents' house and FaceTime my brother and FaceTime my mother. Ready for this? Mm. My my brother calls me and he goes, he plugs the guy's name into this Google whatever fucking number thing. And the guy's name the, the guy was actually using his real fucking cell phone. Okay. Okay. So the name pops up and I go, wait. I go, that fucking name sounds familiar, like somebody on Instagram. I typed in his name on Instagram, searched it. The motherfucker popped up. So I didn't even ask. I went full fucking in on this guy right away. I go, bro, the dude you're fucking texting, I go, I hope the guy doesn't watch this podcast. If he's if he's fucking FaceTime your parents, I'm sure he watches this fucking podcast. Are you going to get yourself in trouble again? No, whatever. It doesn't matter. So... He's fucking mess. He's messaging my brother, right? Yeah. About starts, what though? Just like pranking him? Hold on. He's trying to face. No, I don't know anything yet. Yeah. So I'm messaging him and I'm like, hey, bro, I go, the person you're messaging, I go, that you think is me, isn't. I go, it's one of my buddies who's a fucking police officer. I said, so you might want to fucking stop right now. I said, you're going to get yourself in real trouble. I told my brother, I go, just don't say a fucking word. Yeah. Dude, the guy messes me back in a minute. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. I didn't know I could get in trouble for that. And I was like, what are you trying to do, bro? I go, you can get, I'm like, this is insane. He's like, oh, I thought it'd be cool to talk to you face to face. I'm like, what? The what? Fuck? Yeah, I, I, I'll send you the screenshot. It's insane. What? That's creepy. I don't like that. Yeah. That's Wait, how creepy is that? Yeah, that's weird. How yeah, creepy is that? Yeah, to any fans out there, that's not cool. That's no. not like, that's not the way to go about it. Like, and then, like, oh, and then no. he tried to FaceTime me through fucking IG. Well, I have I have it happen relatively I'm, often where people will try and like call me through Facebook and like my phone will be ringing. Oh, that's an every day. Yeah. Like fucking yeah. Binder Badinder is trying to fucking. I get me. that shit. Yeah. Binder Badinder. Binder Patel. Okay. Yeah. Can, can we go back to my fucking this question here? 
But your shirt, no, it doesn't look good. The shirt looks great. Okay, do you know who fucking James Braddock is? Yes. I'm not sharing my girlfriend's vagina with another girl yeah. that you don't no. know. She's random. No. Complete no. stranger. Wait, you no. have a girlfriend? Wait, hold on. You, have you a can't girlfriend? persuade me on this. Wait, you have, one, have a you have a girlfriend? You have a girlfriend? Who, me? Do you yeah. have a girlfriend, Nick? No, I don't. Wait, your nostrils just flared. That means you're lying. So you're lying, son of a bitch. We're the fucking God. Yo, you're, don't seeing, you're seeing somebody. That's what you're doing. I'm not seeing anyone. I am a single dating. dating. I'm some, not dating. Some girl's weeping right now watching this. As yeah. said, She's yeah. like, I thought he was my girl, my yeah. boyfriend. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, All right, so I'll fucking stand alone on that one. That's I like Nick. Uh, okay, one more question. Is it considered cheating? Yes. If you lost... Do you, if, if you know about it, no. If you right, don't, right, okay. They do it and don't tell you, then fucking right it is. It's fucking cheating. I don't care. You can't okay. sit there watch and be like, "You're you're a cheater." Yeah. Like you fucking cheating, ho. Uh, this is what's the difference between confidence and cocky? We already went over that. Um, <laughs> do you have to have sex with the opposite sex to have to no longer be a virgin? <laughs> No, I think if you're a dude and you fuck a dude, you're not a virgin. But what about? But this probably applies more to women. So if you're a girl, See, it's you, weird because like sex is male and female. Because if you're a girl and you bang another girl, are you still a virgin? Yeah, well, what if she whips out this fucking that. huge girl, dildo? Hey, use fucking strap-ons to bang the opposite sex. Yeah, what if she whips out her strap-on and goes to town and the girl comes? Yeah. So why yeah. not just not be gay? <laughs> Because they like women. If you, use a, if you use a fake penis, why not just get the real thing? That's true, I guess. Yeah. Wow. It's like vegans imitating all the meat food. It's like just have the real thing, you know? No, it's not the same thing at all. <laughs> <laughs> You're making like mushrooms. You know, Wait a just minute. Eat the fucking burger. Wait a yeah. minute. That's actually a good question. What? If you're a lesbian and your girlfriend is fucking me with a dildo, What's the fucking difference anyway? Why That's what I just it? said. No, no, I know. I want to bring it back up. I think it's oh. a good question. Yeah, okay. I don't understand it. It's like why? It's like if you're gay and yeah. you like women yeah. and you're Seriously. using a, a prosthetic male part to bang your significant Maybe other. Maybe the dildo does a better job than you can. Okay, so like if, if Nick comes over and oh, jerks off the flashlight, like it's all good too, right? You know? If Nick does what? If Nick Sorry. comes over and just jerks you off the fleshlight, it's like, well, it's the same thing, right? You know? <laughs> Whoa, this conversation just took off. I know. Off. I'm like, wait a minute. Wait, what you're wait, saying? Wait, that's what you're saying. You're like, why do you need flashlight? I am not jerking anyone off with a flashlight. <laughs> no, but you're saying if, if you're a girl that doesn't like guys and you get fucked by a dildo, why don't you just fuck a guy? It's like, well, it's like if you're a guy that likes girls, it's like you're just vagina there. It's the same fucking thing, you know? It's, it's not the same thing. No, no. I'm not, I'm, I'm not saying, okay, wait. I'm not saying that they shouldn't be, I'm not saying it's the same thing. I'm saying physically, is it the same thing? Like, does sure. it feel the same? Like, well, if, if, you know it's what I mean? Gotta feel... <clears throat> you gotta feel similar enough. I think that's the point of dildos to feel This like is the thing. ultimate meathead conversation we've had on this podcast, by the way. Yeah. I'm sure some bisexual or lesbian woman right now is watching this going, you guys are fucking retarded. Well, of course. We have no fucking idea what we're talking about. <laughs> we need a female on this motherfucker. So, sex is sex. It makes you not a virgin regardless? I think as long as there's, like, deep penetration, it's, you're not a virgin. You deep know? penetration. So, if you have, like, a one-inch dick, doesn't count? Well, but, like, if you finger bang someone, it's not, you're not a, not a virgin, you know? What if, ah, you're, what if you, you need a fucking dick in you? What no, if you your dick blow is... your fucking load on or in? Right down yeah. in the vagina hole. Yeah, this is game. This is complicated. No, wait a minute. Because if you pull out, you still fucked. Yeah. yeah, I said that. I said blow your load on or in. No, he said, Nick said in the vagina hole. No, you don't oh, have to blow your load inside. That's and I don't think it's called a vagina oh. hole. I think it's just called a vagina. Okay, but like, what if you have sex? The hole in... of the vagina. <laughs> what if you have sex and don't come? Did you not have sex then? That's you don't true. come the first time having sex. I want to be there so I can high five you. <laughs> <laughs> That's another. So now point. we have to decide what the depth and the, the like. Seriously, this is fucking complicated. <laughs> no, I'm just saying because like if you Ian said a finger, right? So like if your dick is the size of a finger, does that count as like you fa you fucked a girl? Like, oh is, that, is she still a virgin? I don't know. Ian's googling it though. 
you got to break some sort of labia barrier in order for it to be sexy. Okay. Yeah, when something like a penis, yeah, the hymen, the hymen. Wait, let him. Up. When something like a penis or a sex toy resembling one goes inside some. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Read it. It's it's claiming oral sex is a type of penetrative sex, which we don't agree with, right? I don't agree with. Like, if you suck, get your dick sucked, you're not not a virgin, you know? Nah, man. So, yeah, it's just when something like a penis or a sex toy goes and sells someone, else, someone else's anus or vagina. Oh, anus, too. Yeah. So, if a girl takes it in the bum, she's not a virgin anymore. I don't know. Isn't that what, like, ah! like, isn't that what, like the good old, like, <laughs> isn't that what, like, the super religious girls do? They, like, do a lot of anal sex so they're not, like, upsetting God, you know? You said religious girls? If, yeah, God, they, if they don't think God's mad, they're getting rammed in the ass. He's in there crazy. I think that's in the definition for guys, though, to cover the gay side. What do you mean? Like they put the anus in there for guys. Yeah. So they, that, like, they like, they're, the being, they're being they're being woke. Yeah. Is, that, is there a woke? What do you mean they're being woke? Is there, is there the woke definite the textbook the the, the estimate I don't know about. No, the definition. Woke the with definition. A what do you mean? The yeah, definition. Because they're trying to figure out for a guy, right? Like, when if two gay guys fuck, if is it that's a woke? Well, it's that they're trying to be politically correct. Like, yeah, because like you can't have two gay guys, like a gay guy, like fucking a hundred dudes, and then being like, "Well, I'm a virgin," you know? <laughs> that's my point. See, <laughs> I've never been in a vagina. I'm a virgin. You know? Do you see what I'm getting at, Nick? No, you yeah. still don't get it. He gets it's it's so, like if like why is it called a woke though? What? It's just. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, know, you're being you're, you are woke. They're just the, the definition is being woke. You no, know, the culture thing that will be like woke, woke. You cult. haven't heard the term woke on, like, like, at, at like, all. You're like in with the times, Nick. You know, but like Nick, in a not cool way. Nick, watch the news a little bit, just like for a day. You'll pick it up. Yeah, go all watch right. CNN and get woke, Nick. Um, I need to get woke. Woke pretty much means you're in line with like all other cultures, religions, and like views of life. Yes. Oh, okay. From like transgender to gay to this to that to be all, be all everything. <laughs> so just, now, now I get it. Yeah. Nick's woke okay. now. Nick is woke. I'm woke. I just woke you to fuck up, bitch. I'm in line. Guy woke me the fuck up. Okay. So one more question was before we move on. So oh, if, boy. so how much, if a girl takes it in the butt, she's not a virgin. She, no, she's, she got fucked in the ass, de virginized, I'm, anal I'm gonna, style. I'm gonna Google this. Too. So we're okay with, but, but we're not good. So, but if she sucks a cock, she's still a virgin. No, hold on, because virgin. I think I think in order to fucking pop, you have to break a girl's. I think it's called a hymen. I. You want to say pop or cherry? You you muted yeah. it. Why do you or keep cherry? Muting? Why do you, you keep gotta pop the thing? cherry? <clears throat> what? Guy, why do you keep muting your your thing? Because my thing's running my and it's fucking driving me nuts. What thing? My dishwasher. Oh, just leave it. We can't even hear it. Oh, it's driving me crazy. So I feel like I can't hear shit. So Google this 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 thing here says that yes, if, if a girl has anal sex, she is no longer a virgin. But it also says if she gives a blowjob, she's no longer a virgin. That's false. Yeah. So if a girl decides like for her entire life to like age 25, she just wants to suck cock and she does like Dude, sucks one, is, one this, cock a month. That's a whore. Yeah, but she's still a virgin. Talking, this is it's what I was vir- talking about the religious. That's people. a oral whore. Her, her vagina is a virgin. This what is what I was saying about the religious people. I want to stay a virgin. Should I do anal? Do women have anal sex to stay virgins? See, this is what I'm saying. This is what, this is the trick. How is that? How is that religion? That's, that's got to be the dumbest. No, fuck because they want to be a virgin till they're married, right? Because you want to like be married as a virgin. They fuck in the ass. I know, but I don't think God is like. I don't think God. I don't think like, God gave you two holes so you can pretend like, on one. Hey, and- hey, no sex till you're married, but you can ask fuck. Well, it makes yeah. sense because you're anal is like not big for sex. Yeah, but you're not. You're still a virgin, bro. So it's all good. I agree because the butthole is not meant for sex. We just, that's just we 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 learned we discovered that ourselves. What kind yeah. of girl is like you know what? Can't get it in the vagina. I'm just gonna fucking get a right in the old poop shoot. I've heard that a lot actually recently. But you'd think it would what? be worse because it's like, like a common thing now. Like you do that before regular sex? Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. Weird, but Maybe I'm not woke. We grew up in the no, wrong. Age. We grew up in the wrong age, guy. Get with the times. Get woke. 
but for these religious people, wouldn't it be worse? Because like, isn't in the Bible like Sodomites and like Sodom? Yeah, and you can't do that. Either. That's right. That's right. Like, dude, butt stuff is even worse. Isn't that's it? right. What fucking book you read? The Bible. Oh, that's what I said. Worse. Oh, <laughs> I'm not, I, I know nothing about religion, so I might be spitting out my ass here. I have no idea. Uh, okay, let's move on. In a sport that is relatively subjective, relatively subjective, why hasn't the IFBB standardized certain aspects of the shows? like lighting backdrops uh, to even the playing field for each athlete in various shows. No. It, okay. Well, my answer is probably money. Yeah. Cause every yeah. Ven- venues are going to cost a different amount in different cities. So not every promoter can afford a nice theater with great and lighting and fucking... lighted, but like <laughs> standardized before you even do anything. So that's going to be different in itself. What'd you say guys? Sorry. I said every, venue is already has its own like high hats or whatever kind of chandelier lighting that's already in there to begin with so this every setting is going to be different so even if you use the same lights at every venue the the color paint on the wall is going to make a difference so i think really say, i think I if we're gonna that. i think if we're gonna say one thing about this that probably wouldn't relate to money or venue backdrops. yeah you could you yeah. everybody should be doing a black backdrop yes. for prejudging at least anyway. i agree with that yeah exactly that could be something I think if like, I don't know if there was such a thing as voting and we could all vote for something, and I think colored I th- and like all like the, the sponsored ads on it. Like if you would say it was all black. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, I think if the athletes could vote, they would say prejudging. We all want just a black backdrop. Yeah. Cause usually. Yeah. Nowadays, now you a bunch of shit. Go do that. Yeah. Nowadays, most promoters have like a TV on either side of the stage or something where they're running all the sponsors ads and stuff. So you can do a black backdrop. So I think that would be one thing I think everybody could get with. Yeah. Light lighting is tough though, because then you have some shows that don't have as many competitors. The promoter can't afford to, like great lighting, so it gets a little tricky that way. Uh, back to this shit. Jeez, anal, wow. anal or oral? If you can only choose just one, forever. If you can only pick one, sex. forever. I have sex. I want to. I want to fuck. Yeah, I'm taking the anal. No, I'm anal. I'm fucking. I get blurred. Oh, fuck, man. I got to fucking agree with you guys again. Fuck you all. I don't know if I'm going to, I don't know if I'm going with that. Really? Yeah. That's, but you know, that's bullshit. No, I'm actually not. I'm not sure, to be honest with you. You rat, really? That means you're, you I'm not, I said I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I have to think about it. I honestly no, have to think I, about I, it. You have to make a fucking decision. I know. I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking about it. Time. Think about it right now. What's your answer? <laughs> you have five seconds. Go. The only thing that, it, that looks good about getting a blowjob is that you put in no work. Yeah, cool. I'm it's extremely, so I'm extremely lazy. Yeah, I mean, I like to hear. Yeah, bro, like that on my on fucking... Pretty cool. Nick, yeah. see? That's yeah, awesome. got the fucking spit hanging down and shit. That's fucking hot, bro. Choking. Blowjobs can be something special. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. That would get boring after a while, though. Only doing that. I don't. There's think many so. different ways to do a blowjob. I was just gonna say, there's a whole bunch of ways you can do it. Yeah. You have to put in some work on some of them. Yeah. I oh guess. yeah. Oh fuck me. You guys are turning me here. I don't know. This is. <laughs> I'm, I'm sticking my guns. Though. I'm sticking with. I'm sticking with the first one. No, I'm still fucking. Yeah, I'm still going anal. But I'm blow still jobs fucking over blowjob over face fucking. I know where you guys were going with all this stuff. Face fucking. I don't know, man. I'm some thinking about. Shit. I think I'm gonna go with the oral. That's some good shit. I think I'm gonna go with the oral. Maybe. Really? I'm not. Sure. I'm like leaning. I'm leaning that way. Wow. If, well, like, if, we, if we can do percentages, I would probably go 60 40. Now, okay. 60, wait, 60, wait, 60, wait. 60 now, 40. Or, or, if this was women answering it, and it's like either they have to suck your dick forever and they never get fucked of any kind, or they only get <laughs> anal, what do you think they're going to choose? Oh, it depends yeah. on the girl. Wait, because there, I've had, I have had girls tell me that they will over getting. Like, if you're hooking up with them for the first time, I've had girls tell me that they will fuck over letting me eat them out. Because yeah. they feel yes. letting them eat you yeah. eat out is more like... Um, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially, especially if it's like the first few times. I know a lot of girls aren't Oral is, yeah, it's, yeah. Per, it's a more personal That's thing. wild to me. Yeah, no, I think I've heard that before. I know I've heard it, but it's guys, wild. It's different for guys. It's like, that, we were in like grade 10 getting our dick sucked. It was like different, you know? It's like, it's, it's a different thing. You're in grade 10? I actually had my dick sucked for the first time in grade eight. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Really? I yeah. think in grade eight, I was I only grabbed boob. 
Me and me and my buddy Alex Poloni, and we were in the same bedroom. Mm-hmm. We were also friends. I think it was only. I think it was only by. I think. It Wait was a right. minute. You and Alex Poloni were in the same bed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Was, and you had one girl suck both your dicks? No, two girls. So it's like me and him oh. were like like besties, and then our girlfriends or whatever were both besties. So how we were like, you, so you guys, how did you get them? Blow, blow, Wait a minute, blowjob <laughs> together? It was everyone's first, all four of us. Is that how you talked them into it? Like, let's all do it at the same time. That's so sure. I don't hey, do you remember? That's some that's some friend friend shit, right? I don't there. remember. I, I should. I haven't talked to Alex Poloni in like fucking eight years. Maybe I should. Hit yeah, we're gonna. It's like we're gonna get our dick sucked tonight. Get buddy. Alex Poloni on the podcast. Let's talk to him about this. Yeah, he's just like carpentry or shit now. He's got he's got shit going on. <laughs> Want to hear the dirtiest thing ever? What? No. My roommates in college <clears throat> bang these two girls in the same room. <laughs> one was banging one. One was banging the other one. I wasn't in the room, but they told me the story after. But they only had one condom, so oh, my no. buddy used the condom, blew his load, and then gave it to the, his oh. buddy Kent and turned the condom inside out, and then he put it on because the girls wouldn't fuck him without the condom. Oh. See, this is a case. This is a case where you just do anal. Yeah, right. That was probably the most disgusting thing I've ever. Nah, <laughs> uh, yeah. That That's pretty- fucking gross, bro. Yeah, I think I've heard worse. You could, um, you, you could have at least like washed it out and flipped it around, you know. I know. Okay. So like that other dude's jizz is going in that girl, right? Yeah. yeah. So what's the point of a fucking condom? No, no. Oh no, no, well, no. But no, no. oh, well, well, once, once you sperm, it's a, it, when you have a, a condom that has spermicidal lubricant on it, as soon as the fucking sperm hits the the spermicidal lubricant, I think it's dead. And I think once sperm hits air, it's dead as well. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, but does it kill the STDs also? Because <laughs> now whatever STDs is blocking is now inside her. Yeah. <laughs> you just this is just passing. Either way, it's I, think thought about I, I think it was like in the game time decision, then he just went with it. Yeah. Either way, that shit's nasty. Okay, so if we say percentages, let's say we say percentages. Okay. You get to pick a percentage, anal oral. What percentage are you going? Sorry, 60, 40, 40, anal. So like I'm 60 40 oral. I'm going 60, 40, anal. So it's close. It's not like drastically like. No, I like anal, man. Or I like her job. Okay. I'm uh, 70, 30, anal over blowjob. I'm okay. team Ann. Ian. <laughs> team yeah. Ann. He's team Ann. That's my no guy. You almost. Ian. I don't know who Ann is, but. Oh, okay. let it slide because you got a. Ian. Fat, he's got a fat jaw in there. So we can't. Ian. <laughs> That face, buddy. That's the face of an angry man. Um, what is your best or worst pose? Everyone on the podcast, pick your pick, pick your own or each other's. Front double bicep, mine. We should, each, we should pick each other's. No, don't pick your own. Pick okay. each other. Pick each other's. I'm not. No, no. I'm gonna hurt feelings. I don't, I don't do care. It. It's fine. Let's hurt feelings. It's okay. We're all, all right. we're all grown men. Feeling so. Yeah, okay, I go first. I go first. You guys fuck me up. <laughs> first go he goes. I don't. Me. I don't want to go. Then he goes. I'll go first. I'll go first. You fuck me up. Okay, what are you what are you gonna go? Go ahead, Nick. No, don't, you don't need to pull up pictures. Just go off your memory. We're not pulling up pictures. No pictures. Let's just go with what we. No, think. you guys tell me my best or worst. Oh, yeah, you no, want no. you want to be told first? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We're trying to pull up pictures. We're just going off memory. Let's okay, just... off memory. I'm gonna say Nick's best pose is his back double. I want to say back double bicep. Yeah, I'm gonna go with back double bicep. It's impressive with the leg, the hamstring, everything. Yeah. Worst pose, worst pose. I'm gonna say. I was gonna say ab and thigh, but the thighs are really good. His ab and thigh is good. Yeah, I know. I think front lat spread only because of the way you're doing it. Yeah, I agree with that. I agree front lat too. Okay, who's next? Uh, well, I agree with the front lat back double. I like Nick's most muscular. I'd put that up there too. He's got good most muscular. Which one, the crab shot or the the hands clasped? Like his hands clasped, yeah. Hands clasped, yeah, yeah. That's a good shot. I like the back double just because you don't usually see. You don't see adductors and, and hamstrings yeah. like that usually. Yeah, yeah. Ian's like just finishing my sentences tonight. It's like we're connected. He's quick. You just shit on me earlier for fucking speaking too fast and, and told me to say because, because you're saying everything I want to say before I can even say it. <laughs> oh, so you were just getting mad because not only was, was he cutting you off, but he was actually finishing your sentences. Yes. I'm taking his content. So it was like, it was, it was admirable because he thinks like me, but it was annoying because it was saying it before I could say it. Do you hear that now? The air fryer? 
No, I can't. You can't hear it at all. We can't hear shit, guy. Guy, go go to what Stop you muting think? your shit, guy. What do you think of uh I can hear it drive me nuts? Nick's best and worst pose. Go ahead. Best, <laughs> most muscular. Ah, uh, you know what? So I like his side chest a lot. Good side chest, yeah. So I'm gonna go with side chest. Worst, I'll say abs and thigh. No way on the side chest. <laughs> what? what you don't like a side chest oh. no that's not what i said you said best or worst you didn't say is it good all his poses are good yeah best. but we're saying best or worst sure, i think I mean. that's one of his better poses i would say that's one of his best poses no. side chest no. he's got a you can see his fucking huge shoulder his arm his chest he's got fucking his leg looks enormous he's got hey, legs in the calves for days he looks sick nick no. in your opinion what is your best pose my best pose yeah. You say everyone, I'm going to jump through the fuck computer. Oh, pick one. Just pick one. Best pose. I'll, if I'm going to go off this this year, I'll probably say I like my front double. Yeah. That's I'd say improvement-wise, your front double is definitely the best. Yeah. Change. It went from a pose I didn't like to a pose I do really like. Yeah. What do you think? And as far as weak, I'd, I'd probably agree with you guys and they're saying my front or back last spread, actually. Your front lat could be really good, Nick. It just needs to – you need to open it up more. It's too – you're doing this too much? Well, I hit it a lot better at New York than I have at any other show. I mean, it's still not that good. But. It just It's not that it's not good. It just You need to be more flat instead of yeah. rounded to the front. Especially when you have so much muscle like packed in like that. Yeah, because you know? yeah. yeah. it's almost like you're crunching it all together instead of keeping it like open. Right. So I'm sure you'll work, you guys will work on it. Okay, so uh, Ian, best pose. Yeah. You're, you're next. Ian, best pose, side tricep. Or side chest. I think I'm going to say side tricep. Worst pose, I'm going to say off the top of my head. Off the top of my head, I think I'm going to say back double or back lat. I think front front double is my worst shot. I was what I was going to say. That's what yeah, I was. Off the, you won't even find a shot of me doing a back front double. It's so bad. Don't even pull one up or I'll be angry at you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't pull one up on me because mine sucks. My back okay. doubles get my back double's pretty good now. My front double is still is is better, but it's not my it's my weakest pose, I'd say. What's okay, fine. So we know your worst. What's your best? What do you think your best pose is? Right. I say your tricep, man. Yeah, my side tricep is, is it's like the I most aggressive pose, I think, because like my waist and stuff, but the, the shape of it is very good. The, and the side the leg is good too, man. Yeah, side leg. So yeah, I mean, I, I yeah. like side chest too. Like I like Nick's. Probably my side chest or side tricep. Or yeah, his side, both of them are really dominant. Yeah, so you got that thick upper pec shelf. Is, that looks crazy. I, I think my, ba my back shots will be significantly improved this year, that they will both be as good as my side shots. Okay. My front double is not that good though. It's so right bad. now, so okay, guy, what do you think? You agree with Ian? His side side shots are the best. Front doubles. Are yeah, I mean that's yeah. Okay, guy, I'm gonna say uh, your best shot. <laughs> <laughs> what are you rolling your eyes for? I haven't said anything yet. I'm probably gonna say the crab. Your crab shot's your best shot. Your crab most muscular. No, the no the crab one. Oh. Yeah, you don't think so? I like his side chest shot, actually. I think the crab shot's more impressive. Got the leg locked down, fibers running up the quad. Good shot. Tra traps hanging over a bit. I just has that hanging hamstring, though. Yeah, that's a good. Yeah, I'm still gonna go front crab. Worst shot, I'm gonna say. He's same as me, front double. It's either not. It's because there's two now that are horrible because of my shoulder surgery. My front double and my front lat spread are horrible. Your lat, your front lat spread. Yeah, sure. your front lat didn't look the same. Yeah, because I can't. Because you can't move your shoulder. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. That happens when you get old and banged up, bro. When you so train. you think? So okay, before you answer, before you answer, guy, what do you think, uh, Nick? You think is what'd you say is side chest? I want to go with side chest and um, probably front double. Ian, I feel like you, got, you have a decent back double, don't you? I, I mean, it was better a couple of years ago, but yeah. Back, it's, so my back double it's not weak. To fucking pick up all the ground on guys. I'm going to say back doubles best, front doubles worst. Yeah. Okay. okay. I'm up. Go ahead, Nick. <laughs> Nick already said it. <laughs> he didn't say anything about me yet, did he? How about you? Well, you. 
Um, oh, we didn't. Well, actually, we didn't ask Guy what his. Sorry, before you go, because you, Guy, what's your worst and best? Worst front double or front last card? One of those two. They both suck. And and best. Uh, best, I would say. Uh, back double, or side tricep. Wow, I was way off. Okay. All right, Nick, go ahead, flame away. I'm ready. Uh, because those poses hide all my flaws. Side shots are the best to hide flaws. Yeah. Nick, get off your phone. He's looking. He's looking at your pictures. Bro. Stop looking at my. <laughs> I think I think Vlad's best shot is side tricep. Hold on, I'm going first. What the fuck? Nobody cares. Yeah, you're. Yeah, go ahead. Um, I'm gonna say for me, best shot. I like your most muscular. Um, weakest shot, probably side tricep. Are you crazy? Yeah. I didn't even look at pictures. Nick just doesn't remember because I'm old. That's why. Hey, I'm it's, kind of, it's kind of a guessing game for me. I'm yeah, just... he doesn't know. He's a no shit. He's like, ah, I don't know. Who had a nasty side tricep? Nasty. All right, well, what the fuck, man? I'm going to say best back lat, worst abs and thighs. Best back lat, worst abs and thighs. Yeah, I, can I do, do remember that. your back lat. That was good. Yeah. You like right. your hamstrings, stick back. Good Guy, kid. what do you think? I think your abs and thighs sucks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And is there is there anything good in there or no? I said you didn't say I anything. those two can say what's what I said. I thought it was your best shot. I thought you were just disagreeing with Nick about the no, side I, tricep. My tricep's great. All like, right. All right. Thank you. Um don't thank me. I said your absence thigh sucks. <laughs> <laughs> don't thank me. <laughs> uh would you rather have would you rather have no ankles or no wrists? <laughs> no wrists. No ankles. I could just like vision that shit. It's kind of funny. No ankles for sure. I could never uh, squat and run or anything with no ankles. You can't curl with no ankles or no wrist. That's okay. I could just do can't bench with no wrists. Yeah. I, it's, just, it's just straight all the time. The only thing I can't do with no ankles is squat. Run, walk. You can walk. Walking. You got peg legs, man. You're gonna. Yeah, but I can still walk. I'll just be walking straight, like straight legged. Yeah, but how would you? How would you even <laughs> drive, man? You have no ankle flexion to do this. I just put my whole foot down on the gas. Yeah, I guess. If you had no wrist, how would you jerk off? You just I don't jerk off like this. Of I course you do. Like you have a twist to it, don't you? How far from your dick is is your fuck? <laughs> how far from your body is your dick, bro? <laughs> yeah, I lay I lay completely flat and just like. <laughs> no, seriously. So hold on, ready for this? Wait a minute, Dude, wait a minute, yeah, wait a minute. You have no wrist flexion in your fucking wank. He's gonna, he's gotta practice. Look, are you jerking off on camera? I'm not. I'm not jerking. Did you just so much. What? Did you just air jerk on camera? Well, I mean, off screen. Air jerk. Not so much that I care to lose it, but I would not want to have no ankles, man. I I want to be able to run when I'm done bodybuilding. I want to be able to fucking bike, like like you're you know what I mean? no wrists. Yeah, bike with no wrists. Yeah, because your arms are straight. You don't need wrist flexion. You can still I feel, like I, need, I feel like I need wrist. What about what about eating? Can you eat? Like Greg, you can't do this. Yeah, why do you need wrists, man? Imagine if you just had a wrist brace on. Imagine go get your wrist. Yeah, I I can't look. I got to do this. I can't do this without a wrist. But like, go put your wrist wrap on and wear it as tight as you can all day. You'd still be able to do everything, probably pretty much the same. I could put them on my fucking ankles and fucking I mean, run. Like, wait, has anyone here ever broken the wrist and been in a cast? I have like four times. It's I broke an ankle. I broke an ankle. It sucks. Exactly. See, you want the ankles. You don't want the wrists. You can fucking deal with. Hmm. I think you've I been degraded, man. I don't. I don't. I don't want wrists. <laughs> Nick's already given up. <laughs> I don't want wrists. You don't want wrists? Nah, man. So what do you want? He's saying he's going with you. He's he's going with you. Yeah, yeah. I'm on your side. Yeah, you want ankles. You need the ankles. I think I'm leaning that way too now. I'm thinking about it. I'm trying to think of all think things they, I need my, my wrist for. Think of in a wrist cast. They're fine. People well, it's, 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 much, it's, it's much harder to get around with no ankles. Yeah, man. That sucks. But it's harder It's harder to perform tasks with no wrist. Yeah, think about all the stuff, like fixing something, like the wrench. 
But you got to use your I'm wrist. Thick like, shit now, anyway. So your wrist, good. and that's your pronators and stuff. That's different. So I just can't do this. How am I going to garden? You just can't do this. Yeah. <laughs> Who cares? You can't be an artist or uh, organist. Yeah. That's, that's it. All right. All right. I'll go with the ankle. All right. I'll go with the ankles. You got me. Uh, are you living the life of your dreams? Yes. Sure. No. No. What's okay. the life of your dreams? You don't have. What's your the life of your? This is the life of your dreams. You want to? You're dreamt of being a pro bodybuilder. Yes. What the fuck I like, worked for? Like when you, you were like when you were five years old, you're like, ah, I can't wait to be a pro bodybuilder. Like that was your dream. No, I wanted to be a fucking cop, but I'm happy I'm a bodybuilder. Yeah, I, I didn't know what the fuck I was doing at five, man. I was just fucking playing with toys in my fucking little playing kid. with my GI Joes. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, guy. What do you think your dream job is? I wanted to be a teacher. That's your dream job. That was. I mean, I wanted to be a professional football player, but I mean, that's, every kid... yeah, but that's your dream job then. Yeah. So you want to play in the NFL? Yeah, I'm too small. You know the NFL is gay now. What? <laughs> the NFL is gay now. Is gay? Yeah. Why? <laughs> Didn't you see the new ad campaign? No. It says the NFL is gay. Does it actually say that? Yeah. Why? It's That's promoting big. promoting wokeness. Oh. Promoting diversity. Nick is stunned. <laughs> I just looked at his face. <laughs> Wait, are you for real? Yeah, I could probably find the ad. It's Why like, does it have to matter? I want that, That's it. Doesn't matter. That's the crazy part. Olympic 100, 200 meter, and do both of them at the Olympic level. What? And get. I don't want to be a one-trick pony. I want to win the one and two, not just a 100 Yeah, I want to be a both. So your dream, then, is to be an Olympic sprinter? Yes. See, that's more. That's what I'm talking about. I want to be a professional football player. How's that? Uh, I don't know if I can find the exact I'm ad, but... Growing in third grade, I realize it might be a problem. This, the, this, this kind of thing is what I've been seeing. Yeah. Yeah. They do the rainbow colors on the NFL symbol and shit. But there's an what? actual... <laughs> There's an actual ad, though. Type in... Um... Yeah, this. It starts like this. And then football it goes... Is gay. And then, but then it, go, it goes on, and it says football is gay, football is straight, football is all these other things. But this okay. was one of the... But it's annoying that it's been tied into... It's like... It just, it just has nothing to do... I with... just my, my whole point is like... Whoa, did you hear if... that? No, what was it? Thunder. My whole point is like, if you're not supposed to care if someone's gay, then why are you drawing attention to it? Yeah. Like, who cares? If the football player is straight, gay, bi, who gives a shit? Yeah, I agree. Like, why would we... no one gave a shit until they made it a shit? You know? Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, you never see an ad that's like football is straight. Like, nobody gives a yeah. shit. Nobody gives a shit. Why are we like, you know? Agreed. Um, so you're a pro football player, you're a bodybuilder, you're an Olympic sprinter. I'm a race car driver. Really? Yeah. Okay, but not like NASCAR, like Formula. no, no, like Formula One. Okay, cool. Yeah, cool. yeah. If I could have done anything, real race car driver. <laughs> Thoughts on Seth Ferrosi stopping gear? It's it's just choice, man. Cheers. I think it's great. So he's taking <laughs> nothing, zero gear at all. No, I think he's, I, no, no. I think he's he's TRT, isn't he? He's still. Gonna, I thought he stopped that. No, no. I think he last time <laughs> I. Last time I talked to him, he said he was taking TRT. Is this for a health thing or what? Or a HRT, whatever the fuck. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's, his it's health. Video. Yeah, his his blood pressure was high, so he lost a bunch of weight. So he's like down to like the you know low two hundreds, and he didn't want to go on blood pressure medication, so he lost a bunch of weight, went off the juice. Sure. And now he feels great, and he looks great. Good, good for so him. Like, it I, think does, it's, yeah. I think it's awesome. I think more people could learn from this. Let go Agreed. of this go, and when your time is done, let go of the drugs, kids. Are you talking to me? No, I'm pointing <laughs> at the screen. At the, at the <laughs> um, no, but <clears throat> I think uh, I think Seth is a, a, a honestly, it's a good example for everybody because it's like, oh uh, yeah, Seth, you're stealing my points. I'm I'm uh, adding to your points. I'm not stealing to them. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm saying it's, <laughs> it's listen. It's really hard to stop doing what we're doing, whether you're a professional or not. Very, yeah. Whether you're whether you're competitive or you're not, if you start taking gear and you get to a certain size and you get used to the strength and used to the size and used to the way you look, it's hard to fucking stop. 
and how you feel. Well, those are the questions. Do you do you notice that like the older I've gotten, like the less I can take and maintain what I have? The less you can take and maintain, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, but I always I think that sometimes, but then I'm like, I don't look the way I used to look, and neither do you guy. Uh, thanks, Fuad. Oh, I'm just saying you're not as big as you were once. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Yeah, but that's what, but I'm going to your point. Like you're saying, I can but take I, I less. Don't think I'm as big as I was because of my. What does that look for, Nick? It wasn't that wasn't an insult. I thought he was going to take that serious, man. But why is that wasn't insulting? I was waiting for it. But it's not insulting. He's just not no, as big I, as he I, was. I've said that a million times. I'm very honest with myself. I'm not an idiot. Yeah. But I think mine. I think mine is more injury, not because of anything not, else. Not because of gear. No, I, th I think my side difference is all here because of my injuries. My injury, I had a surgery all here. Guy, this is directed at you because you're older, but do you think there's a certain point where no matter how much you take, your yes. age your age is going yeah. to uh, dictate your size? I'm knocking on that door right now. Yeah, like you can't – if you start taking like 1,500 milligrams a week, you're all of a sudden not going to go back to 32-year-old 32, 32 guy. No, and I wouldn't take that because there's no point. But if somebody said to you, guy, if you take 1,500 milligrams a week, you'll end up like you were when you're at your biggest. I would probably you, would. you do? <laughs> like, I probably would. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. Probably. <laughs> I'm not going to sit here and fucking lie to y'all. But, but what I guess... I'm sitting alone 1,500 right now. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess what my, what my point is, I think, is at a certain age, more gear won't get you back to your, your prime size. No. So anyway, I think I think what Seth is doing is really good. I think it's really good that he's made it public. So brave. Shut <laughs> <laughs> Is that sarcastic? So brave. So brave. You're, you're, so such brave. An, you're such an I'm asshole. Sorry. So brave. Talk about that I didn't make, I, I didn't, thought it was fitting, you know. I didn't, <laughs> so I didn't mean it like I didn't mean it like he's so brave. I meant it like the NFL needs to take a rim and take. I, I just meant it's good for guys around our age or not. You guys are 10 years younger, but when you're around 35 to 40, 45, it's good to see somebody that can look good like Seth or even JP. That's like not on a ton of gear. So, I agree. Ian looks tired. I'm not tired. No. In 30 That's minutes ago, you were telling me I'm fucking bouncing off the wall. You, had, you went like this. We did six gear when we started. Red line. <laughs> <laughs> I he, burned, he burned the shit out. Like, yeah. <laughs> back I, down a bit. I need to fucking smoke some weed is what I need. What would your personal and professional life would have been without this is written weird. I think it's just supposed to be like, what would your personal professional life look like if before you were married or had you never met your wife? That's good. I'm not married, nor have I met my wife. I'm divorcee. I have man, it's we it's, can do the opposite for we can do the opposite for you guy. Well, if you'd stayed married, what would your life look like if you were married? What do you mean? If you were still married to the lady. if you were fucking married still, what, what do you mean? Life? Still, I love when guy does, like trying to think of an answer. He's like, "What do you mean? I don't know what you're talking about." What do you mean about still married to the same woman? No, yeah. no. Yeah. Even if yeah. not, okay, so, I was confused. Thank you, you idiots. Yes, I just meant if you're just married. I don't care no, what. Man. And married to the same fucking woman, what would your life be right now? I don't know. Well, conceptually, you have an idea. You just don't want to say. Oh, I'm she's. I'm best friends with my ex-wife. She's. So, what would your life be like? I'm friends with your ex-wife too. Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> she went out for lunch this afternoon. We had steak. Yeah, at Moxie's. <laughs> Medium rare. I have yeah. no problem fucking killing anybody on the bike. <laughs> I'm just a... laughing at you because you said that I follow her for some fucking reason. You think I'm like You're stalking her or something? <laughs> Any, anyway, so what would your life be like if you were still married? To, still married or married is a very different. So which is it? Well, answer both. Yes. No, we, uh, so I don't know. I think my life would be good if I was still married to Bethany. I mean, we we fucking get along great. You know, we just thunder. Yes, we hear it. I heard that. Yeah, we heard it. it. Was still on. I need to shut it off. Um. We get along just fine. Yeah, we just, you know, we're better off friends than we are married. That's why we got divorced. So, but I think if I was married, would things be different? Yeah, because I mean, I want kids. So I think if I had kids, my life would be a lot different. I think my travel schedule would be a little more restricted. I think, um, you know, things that I do now and, and the, the time slots that I have available to myself to do what I want would be very different. 
But if, you know, I I want you know I I if it was up to me, I would have had two kids already. Same guy. Do you still want kids? Yeah, you know, with the right person. Yeah. Well, even at your age. Off oh, really? You fucking. Smart? I was gonna. Ask no, that's a fuck. serious question. <laughs> Yeah, I'm being serious. My, my dad, my dad, was, like I'm fucking fifty. And my dick don't work easy. My dad was older than Guy when he had me. My dad's fucking seventy five. My dad was fifty. Know, my dad, like, my dad was fifty when I was born. Yeah, yeah. A lot so. of people like to have kids young. That's why I'm asking. Yeah. No, I'm serious question. Preference? Yes, but I'm not. If a, once I hit like mid forties, if I don't have a kid, for women, it's. Well, obviously see, that's what I'm saying. You, so you have like a time limit. Yeah. Well, I'm not gonna have a kid when I'm fifty. That I ain't doing. No, I mean, it's also too, because then like, what are you marrying women that are 20 years younger than you? Because a girl having a kid past 40 is getting a little sketchy. So it's like, you know, you're yeah. 50, you're marrying a 30 year old woman, woman, which I guess is awesome, but like not at the same time. I don't so. think that's that weird though. I don't think, why are you laughing guy? What do you got going on at your house? You know, you're not muting the fucking washer. Yes, somebody, I am. somebody there. Because no. yeah. I keep seeing you looking, I keep seeing you look up. You keep He's doing got his next wife in the background is what's going on. I, the f- <laughs> <laughs> You're all fucking stupid. Um, I don't think it's that weird to, to be with a girl that's like 10 or 15 years younger if you're 45. No, I guess that's fine. I mean, my, yeah, my mom and dad, when they were together like 8, 10 years. Yeah, yeah my mom and dad are 13 years apart. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. That was normal back then, though. Yeah, it was. Um, Ian, what would your life be like if you were married? I don't know, man. My, like, I'd be like... I'm like a third, a third of my entire life and all of my adult life has been with Melissa. I know. I was going to say that. You no, know, like we've been together for basically 10 years. I'm 30 years old. My entire bodybuilding career, my entire adult life, all the milestones I've had in life of buying homes, doing bodybuilding stuff, everything has been with her. Yeah. So it's like almost yeah. it's impossible. It's impossible to conceptualize it without her, you know? I was just going to ask you, you probably can't even tell what it would be like without her. I, I, I can't. I have literally no idea. Yeah. I might not have even considered continued bodybuilding, to be honest. Wow. Yeah. Because I, I wasn't even, when I had met her, I had won junior nationals in 2011. And then I met her in early 2012. And at that point, I was like, I'm done with bodybuilding. I don't want to do this anymore. I was out of it. And she was the one that was like, you should do this again. You clearly miss it. Convince me back into do it, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I, I'm sure maybe I would have got back there. But it's obviously different, man. Then you're talking about my life without... Melissa and Chris and the whole dynamic that is together. I mean, my life would have been very, very, very different, you know? Yeah. I wonder. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I I don't even know. I think my life would be really fucked up. I think yeah. sometimes you meet somebody who's normal and you're not normal. Like, I'm not normal. You'd be no, a mess. Me neither. Huh? You'd be a mess. Yeah, I think. <laughs> you know, it's like Flex Lewis. I say it all the time. I tell Ali, I'm like, thank God he's got you because he'd be fucked. If you but I think that's every every good relationship is like that. You have like the guys a little bit fucked up, the girls like pretty down to earth. I don't know, like I'm by they myself. Level, I'm, they level each other out. I'm pretty good by myself and alone. Like I'm I, I'm good. Yeah. So I don't know. I'm pretty good. I, I'm good alone too. He's pulling this independent woman bullshit on us right now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need no man. I don't need no man. All the ladies independent. Yeah. Throw your hands up at me. That's gonna, that's gonna be on YouTube in two days. <laughs> I'll give a fuck. I'll make money off that too. I don't think you're fucking. <laughs> yeah. Who I go? Yeah. No, I don't. Um. I I think the longer you're fucking, the longer you're alone. It's it's hard. hard. The fucking harder it's gonna be. Oh, it's good. Yes. yes. Thirty nine years old, you kind of set in your ways. Girl comes along, you're yeah. like, yeah. don't don't fuck with my shit. Don't fuck with my. Yeah. Shit. It's, it's it's I've been it sucks. It's not easy to get out of your fucking your nope. your house when you're by yourself, especially when you're on your house and like everything's set fucking the way it is, and people start coming in and moving. You're like, whoa. I mean, yeah. even, even the flip side, like think of the routine you get in, like and the things you're used to, like with your wife who had, like you know yeah. how you know what stones you can like, what things you can push, what things you can't, what things she's cool with. Imagine like. You know, you guys split up more. Me and Melissa split more. Trying to do that all over again with someone else. You're like, holy fuck. Like, I'd go crazy. I'd be like, fuck this. I'm done. You know, like. Well, I already said I, if I ever got divorced, I would never get married again. Me neither. Really? I would meet somebody. Yeah, I, want, I, I would I meet somebody and be with them, but I would never I actually get married. married. No, me neither. I would get married. What if they wanted to get married? Yeah. I'd say, sorry. I ain't doing it. Crying sack of shit. I wouldn't. Like, okay, babe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, babe. 
if the oral if the oral was good enough, it'd be like, yeah, <laughs> all right. <laughs> that oral anal ratio is right. That box <laughs> no, I'm serious. I've because I, I I even told Summer like we were together for five years before I got married. I'm like, we don't have to do this. Yeah. I'm like, it's not going to change anything. I'm like, it's literally a piece of paper. Babe, if you could, if we had to. Do it. Wait, 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 wait. Ian, look really pissed off. Already? Hold on. Do it now. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Can you just fuck this forever, man? Come on. Hold on. You literally literally look like that all the time. (laughs) All right. Okay, babe. If. We had, if you had to choose between we only have anal sex or you only give me oral sex forever, oh which one you choose? You give me, I'm, you're not getting anything in return. You're either getting anal sex, which is something in return, or you're only sucking my dick forever. Which one? <laughs> she says she'd rather just suck my dick. Yeah. See, I knew it. Wow, really? Yeah, I mean, anal sex. <laughs> oh Did my you, god you yes i heard that <laughs> <laughs> it would just be that would ruin my butthole i don't it would, it would just, it would just be uh, uh okay uh what oh you fucking asshole um what was i gonna say uh what sequence do you eat your burger and fries burger fries. what uh the order yeah. Fries burger. Fries burger. Yeah. Are you guys serious? I'm, yeah. I'm. Am I the weirdest person on earth? No. Burger first, always, bro. Who the no, fuck? No, I gotta this? eat. My, I like my fries. I always eat my carbs second. Same, always. Like if I'm eating steak and potato or chicken and rice. Well, chicken and rice usually mixed up, but if it's not mixed up, I always eat my carbs last. Because I kind of enjoy them. It's like a. I do, I do that too, but I really like. Fries. I think I actually go back and forth a little bit. Yeah, some people do that. I, I, feel like, I really I like, like fries. Fried burger fries. That's what I do. Fry <laughs> burger fry. I fry, finish the burger, then fries. That's what I. No, do. I completely fry in burger. Nick, do you really like fries? I really like my fries. I'm not a big fry guy. Melissa is a fry first, burger second. I, I'm only a fry guy if the fries are really good. And I mean, I got to. Like, what's moves. your favorite kind of fry? Like, I, hey, wait. If I was having McDonald's, I would might I'd snack on the fries first. I always go fries second, no matter what. That's only because you're driving, Ian. That's because you're driving, hundred percent. You're reaching in, you're getting some fries. Yeah. <laughs> five, guy, five guys fries. Five guys fries. I like five guys fries. Oh, I don't. I'll like eat the fries. shit out of them first. Yeah. You don't like five guys fries, Ian? No, they're too like potatoey for me. I don't like them. They're too real. Too potatoey. Yeah, they're too, too real. fucking That's potato. Like, he likes the. He likes the. He likes the McDonald's fake like frozen. I don't. I don't. I don't like potatoes. Like I don't eat yeah. potatoes in my regular. I like food. sweet potato fries. Yeah, that's that's better. You know, I don't. I'm not a big sweet potato fan, but sweet potato fries are OD. Like What's the, wait a minute. What's the best potato? What do you mean? Best I potato. Like, best potato dish. Best potato dish. Potato dish. Yeah, like best He's thing like you. Best eat? thing you can make out of a potato. Gnocchi. I was literally going to oh, say. Oh, that's a good yeah. one. I wasn't even thinking of that one. I literally oh. got the same. Knocked it out. No, no, no. Gnocchi, gnocchi is. Yeah. Gnocchi. 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 Yeah. No. Yeah. It's, it's it's an potato Italian it's an Italian pasta. Like a potato ball. Oh, oh, they're good. I was gonna say mashed potatoes and gravy. I got you, didn't I? I don't know. I like mashed potatoes and gravy. You know what's really mashed good? Do you ever used to have back at Wendy's back in the day? Their baked potatoes with like the cheese. Yeah, the yeah, the loaded. Oh, the potato, potato. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. Wendy's ones with the chives and the sour cream and cheese. Yeah. Those. Are I like I like Chick Fil A fries. Yeah, they have waffle fries too, right? No, yeah, a they good got, one. I like you, waffle fries. Fucking guy, stop doing what you're doing. I know somebody's there. <laughs> oh my god turn the camera yeah, around one in the house guy turn the camera around let's yeah, see we want to see turn the whole camera around turn the whole camera around 360, oh, man. 360. Tell, the way. tell her to run around the other side quick what, <laughs> what did you just look at someone just evacuated someone ran away <laughs> what did you just look at no they didn't he looked he's like go that way yeah he did it okay anyways turned it around very slowly I I turned it. You said keep going. <laughs> I just did a three sixty. Noki was a fucking stellar pick. Holy shit! I thought I had that one in the bag with fry, with mashed potatoes and gravy. As soon as you said potato base, I or my head run right Italian. Fuck! I like a, I like a potato pancake. 
Yeah, not like Noki though. Noki with blush sauce. Well, yeah, that's. I mean, I'm just saying. I'm just naming some shit. Who I mean, hit... you take French fries for fucking Christ's sakes? Okay. Yeah. Who hit each mandatory pose the best of all time? What? Pick a mandatory pose and who hit it the best of all time? Okay, mandatory. I'm gonna say Ronnie Coleman wins like four out of all the poses. Yeah, well, Ronnie wins back double, back lat. Yes. And probably front I double, front Ronnie double. Ronnie. No. You don't think Ronnie's front double is 98, 99 is better than anybody's? His peaks are like, what are you talking about? There's probably some guys out there that aren't like that great that have fucking awesome front doubles though. Like, I mean, even like a flex wheeler front double is pretty dope. Is you like it? Ronnie's side tricep and side chest? No. No. Hmm. Let's see. Okay. I'm not feeling it. Yeah, I'm not a I'm not a big fan of this front double at all. Like obviously he's got insane quads and like the muscularity is nuts. His legs are crazy. He's got a small V tape. The only thing that throws off his front double is his abs. It's exactly. it's the most impressive front double, but I don't think it's the prettiest front double. I'm impressed. You're not impressed by that? It's just What's ugly it? to me. This is ugly? Yeah. I don't Why? think I wouldn't I, I that see it's a little far fetched to say ugly. Why I would not want to look like that. I wouldn't want that front double. I mean, well, it's way better than mine. So yes, I would want it. But I mean, like, look at Victor's. <laughs> He's Victor's like, front double, or like, look at Victor's and Dennis Wolf. Like, that's two fucking nice front doubles there, man. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, like Victor, Victor, two thousand seven. That's a fucking nice front double. One second. Where is that? In the center left up one. There. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. I would say Dennis Wolf's is nice. Yeah. I like Dennis Wolf's. Dennis Wolf's got a nice one. Yeah. What if we said Phil Heath? Phil Heath for front double? No, certainly not. <laughs> certainly not. Well, I mean, he's not known for having a good front double at all. Uh, yeah, no. It's good, but it's not. I wouldn't even put that as better than uh, Victor's. i put that ahead of Victor's. Yes. Would you? Yes. yes. I put that ahead of it. I think he's a little too narrow for okay, those what yeah, maybe 2010, 2011, I might, but after yeah. that. Yeah, but we're talking about their best, right? Like yeah, I, okay. I don't like that's but like go up to set second row there, 2016, 2017, those like you no know, down, second row, far right. Back double filler, Ronnie. Like yeah, there. I mean, but he's not as like this is like we're talking that. Yeah. Right? Like that's crazy. Who's uh, back double you like better? Back double, I'm gonna go Ronnie for sure. They're both pretty fucking dope, but yeah. Ronnie can't, you can't, can't not pick Ronnie, you know. Yeah, no, that's Ronnie. Yeah. You have to. Look at this shit. This yeah, is there, you, there you go. There you go. They're right there. Oh. Um, they're both um, back, actually. Wait, that's Phil? Phil this Phil's is back looks crazy. This obscene. isn't this isn't I a like, full I this like isn't Phil's a, better. This isn't a full pose. He's not fully in the pose here. You can tell because his elbows are still pointing out. He's not fully in his pose here. This is closer to it. I still like Phil's. Uh, I myself. still like Phil's better. Really? Yeah. I like Phil's bicep a lot. I think he's got one of the prettiest and craziest back double biceps. Like, come I on. think Phil's is definitely prettier. Yes, it's so symmetrital. It's like, it's, it's so thick, dug out. Pretty, it's peeled. It's everything bodybuilding. It's the I whole mean, fucking nine. Massive. This is this is everything bodybuilding right here. I really don't like it. Really, you're not. A I Ronnie like fan. it back last. Back last more impressive. You're not a Ronnie fan, eh, um, Nick? Not like that. No, you don't seem like a big Ronnie fan, which is shocking because you're a mass monster. So you'd think, yeah, you think, yeah, but you'd like be, I be a pretty mass monster, but you're not. You're rug, you're rugged as fuck. That's not what? insult. It's that's, not that bad. That's not, not a fucking insult. that's not a fucking insult, man. Like, look, when I think of Mike Francois, I think of an amazing physique, but I don't think pretty. 
I think rugged and fucking freaky. Well, I don't care. I don't mean pretty, but like, I just, I would like a better structure than that. Yeah. I, like, I never, like, I think that's even, where, I think that's where I'm different. I think Ronnie. Like, when I started, I never wanted to look like Ronnie. Me. I know, but I think people. Forget. I never, like, I never watched him. Like, he was never one of the ones I actually watched. I know, but look at this. Like, you guys are forgetting Ronnie Young. Like, 90s. no, I get it. I get it. It's the goat. That's the. He's a fucking maniac. But that's just not for me. No, no, no. But that's not what I'm asking. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not trying to like just blow Ronnie. What I'm saying is like, when you look at '98, '99, Ronnie, like this is pretty to me. Well, back in those, yes, that like, I agree with. Look how pretty, look how pretty the shape is. I, I can't, I can't see the picture. I find the space in his abs just. Oh, makes I'm not even hard. fucking sharing my fucking screen. <laughs> you got to share the screen, man. Look at well, yeah, screen. back back in his earlier days, yes, but um, in the 2000s and whatnot, I just think it just it just got ugly. In the in the mid 2000s, yeah, he got too big, but like this, like is, that looks this, good. This is a very pretty physique to me. Yes. Like it fucking waist sinks into your hips, like, like hit, big hit massive that, squared off chest. The bottom, real quick. Which one down here? Well, that, not that one, but that one's good. Which one were you talking about? This one? The one right above it. The one right above it. This one? No, the, above the one you were just on. Like oh, this one. No. No, down. Go back. Okay, here. Now where? No, where, right that one. Click. Like that's a good front double. Ronnie's or Flex Flex Wheeler. Ronnie's, Ronnie's. Yeah, this is Ronnie like ninety eight because he still has gyno. Yeah, but I'm saying like now that's a good like the one we just looked at. I didn't think was pretty. So you don't like the bigger Ronnie? You like the ninety eight, ninety nine Ronnie? Because he's still fucking massive, but he has structure. More aesthetically pleasing. Yeah, like this is what we're talking about. This is two thousand three. Yeah, this like, is ninety eight. Yeah. Like 98, it looks good. 99, I don't understand. 2003, it's a no-go for me. Yeah, well, you can see he's losing some of his detail, but this is still fucking crazy to me. It's insane, but I, I don't... I would pick Phil. Really? Interesting. Mm -hmm. I just... Look at look at this. This is 98. Look at this physique. Now that's really good, yes. This is... I don't, to me, this is unbeatable. Like nothing, nothing I've ever seen on a bodybuilding stage looks like this to me. Yeah, that's really good. That I, I will agree with. Yeah, he looks crazy. Yeah. All right. So, who do we give side chest, side tricep to? We didn't pick those. Side chest. Who's the best I, side I love chest? Dexter's side chest. Dexter's is nice. Gustavo Bell's is nice. Dennis James's is nice. Dennis James is a good pick. He's thick as fuck. Yeah, I like Dennis James. Dennis think, James doesn't have a great side leg, though. His upper body was... I'm going to go with Dorian Yates' side tricep is my favorite. Yeah, that's good. Good pick. Wait, you're not picking mine? <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> you guys just told me how beautiful it was. How could I you knew you were going to fucking say that. You know that? How could you guys I, lie to my face? I was waiting for you to say that. <laughs> Dorian, Yates, Dorian Yates' side tricep, classic. I got to eat. Should I wait? No, just eat. Well, we've done in five minutes. Um, what do you guys think about me hanging this picture in my gym? Is that stupid? No. No, it's dope. Do Part it. Partlow has it in his next gym. To the picture, next to the picture of me, it's not stupid. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put a little picture of you. No, no, you're going to have a picture of all of us in the gym, right? I should, eh? You, know what? Should. you guys should all come down. We can do a photo shoot, and then I'll fucking hang the photo in the gym. Yeah. Are you still on lockdown? I look better than you in the photo. What did you say, guy? I what said, did you say, your mouth? We all look better than you in the photo. Who yeah. looks better than who? What did I just say? better than you, we all look better than you. Who's we How are you all going to look? How are you going to look better than me? You're 70 pounds lighter than me. Like, not no, 78, actually. Like, there's a whole other human on me. So? <laughs> Let's see. Look at those fucking cheeseburger tits. <laughs> <laughs> You make a full fucking Big Mac out of this shit right now. We can use that bacon roll. <clears throat> me and me and Paul got a bet. We're gonna see who looks better in ten weeks. Yes. Uh, yeah, but Part Partlow has that picture up in uh, in West Coast Iron. That side tricep, or one of those from that shoot. I think it's the side tricep. I, I wanted to. I messaged Dorian because I'm like, I wanted to get the high res version of it so I could get like a really clear yeah. image made. But he never got back, so I'm like, I don't know. I don't want to use some shitty like low res yeah. photo. Guy, can you reach out to him for me? Sure. He'll probably respond to you. I'm like your nexus to like fucking life. <laughs> you literally haven't helped me at all in my life. 
Would you give up the history? The, you give up the history of your bodybuilding career for Jeff Bezos's money? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Next question. Nick, we all yes. Yeah. No, Nick didn't answer yet. Shut up, you fucking idiot. Nick, what? Not even that. Anymore. Nick, it's like, what's he? What's he worth? Like two hundred forty billion dollars, something like that. Yeah, what are you worth? Two hundred forty dollars. Yeah. I mean, no, <laughs> anything anything over like in Bitcoin. Anything over like half a billion, it's not really changing. But yes, I mean that's ridiculous. <laughs> Nick, you could do whatever the fuck you want every day for the rest of your life. Every, you could do half it. A billion, half a billion is not that much, Ian. 500 million, you would be very hard pressed to spend that in your lifetime. It would, without buying major corporations, what you yeah, can't spend 500 million, man. You invest, you invest even 400 million of that, you're making so much money. It's like, yes, you, you it's never. Huh? Yeah, I agree with you. Nick, picture doing whatever the fuck you want for the rest of your All life. Right, fine. <laughs> but I want to, but I want to stay true to my bodybuilding career, bro. Yeah, but fucking Mr. Olympia, bro. Oh, wait, does that mean you're just not allowed to bodybuild then? Uh, I didn't say that. No, it you're, said, you're, you're, you're giving it up. But like, hey, I'd start over. You know, I got some money. I could fucking I'll buy start over. Fuck, I'm, I'm better off starting over. <laughs> Think how much fucking GH I'm buying now, bro. Think about all the stem cell shit you could do, guy. Yeah, You'd be fucking fresh. Oh, I'd be getting fucking oh. stem cells and fucking. I'd have hair on my head. And fucking. Who I would have his fucking crazy faux walk back? What up, Bo? Yeah. <laughs> Who had coach, the day one getting that hair back? Your coach gives you a bagel in your diet. What kind are you going with? Uh, I like the uh, uh, everything bagels are good. Well, they have a they have a they have a, fr- a cinnamon toast crunch one up the road, which is awesome. I was going to say cinnamon raisin. So, I, I hate cinnamon raisin. raisin. I love cinnamon raisin bagels when I don't. Yes. Like Not in- fucker. You know? Did you see what just happened? Look at this. This, this, this is why I do constantly do social experiments on this podcast. So. I say I cinnamon raisin. He says I hate raisins. Then Nick says I love cinnamon raisin. Then Ian's like, "Well, I think I like cinnamon raisin." Wait, that's not what I said. Yeah, it is. It's exactly. No, I said that's what happened. You're literally. That's missing. what happened. That's what happened. What did I just say? Should we rewind it? Rewind it. We're rewind I, this. I said I don't like raisins, and then I said I like cinnamon raisin bagels as long as I don't have to. I take know. Raisins. I'm just fucking with you, man. Fucking dick. <laughs> oh! <laughs> like the cinnamon raisin bag with cream cheese is amazing but i hate the texture of raisins so the second i bite one usually if i buy them i would just buy them and pick them out i love egg. biting into a hot raisin now you can now you can yeah exactly it's gross but now you can just oh, buy cinnamon yeah. bagels which is amazing huh because i hate do do you think the raisins are adding to the cinnamon raisin bagel they make it taste delicious Yes, they do. It's like a little. Sweet. It's like a little hint of sugar in there. Yeah, a little fucking snap surprise in your mouth. Oh yeah, yeah. I love it's cinnamon. Fucking disgusting consistency. Like, what? What do you mean? It's just like a. It's like a. It's like a jelly. I hate it. It's fucking I hate good, it. bro. I hate <laughs> it's not even the flavor. It's the consistency. <laughs> What's wrong with like a jelly? Uh, okay, last question, and we'll go. I love it. If you went to jail, what do you think each of your each other's crime would be? Crime. Crime. What, what crime would guy go to jail for? Somebody up for fucking talking in front of me while hat squatting. Roar. Yeah, he's definitely getting an assault charge for sure. Yeah, so, he beats, guys, guys he beat someone up for guys getting a road rage charge, hundred percent. That's what I was going with. Road yeah. rage. Yeah. yeah. He road cut rage. me off, so I fucking followed him. Yeah, but then he'll follow him, wait till he gets out, and then he'll beat him up, get an assault charge. Yeah. <laughs> you guys have a lot of faith in me, huh? I don't know what I would go to jail Nick for. Nick getting arrested for being too fucking cocky. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, what yeah. would I go to jail for? Speeding, probably. Yeah, speeding. Not oh, paying tickets. Reckless driving, yeah. Reckless driving or something stupid. For me? I think Ian would kill I'd someone. Ian would he, go to jail for not paying parking tickets. I think Ian might kill somebody without anybody. Like, if you found out Ian killed somebody like 10 years from now, you wouldn't be that surprised. You'd be like, Yeah, I kind of saw that coming. Yeah. Which, how, how would it be? How would he have killed them? Well, depends he, who the person is. Fucking Ian's, bare hands, Ian's, motherfucker. Ian's smart, man. You fucking be some conniving shit. Nah, he bare handed. He would rig up my like, weird bomb. Air <laughs> bomb. Um, Nick, what's Nick going right. to jail for? Yeah, what do I go to jail for? Uh, Nick, eh? Stealing a kid's lunch. <laughs> I, don't know. 
<laughs> I think you're too nice, dude. I don't think you're going to jail. Do you also, got... on the podcast, this fucking idiot gets a pass. Well, yeah. <laughs> you're too nice. You're not going to jail. <laughs> well, I can't think of anything. I can't think of anything either. I'm trying to think. See? No, you guys are you guys are out of jail while I'm getting fucking ass raped because I fucking beat the shit out of an idiot driver. That's real nice. Thanks, guys. What? He said I'm a fucking murderer, bro. <laughs> no. But hey, he, he's getting death row. Right I get out of jail free. <laughs> I'm, I'm going in there for life for sure, man. Ian, leave me. I got your back, bro. Yeah, me and Guy are starting to fucking gang. He tries to ass rape you. I'm fucking him up. <laughs> uh, my ass on me. <laughs> All right, we're just keep it, keep it the family. Let's do one more good one, please. Yeah, okay, you got one more. Is, that, <laughs> is it more? Serious? That was fucked up. We're doing more serious one. <laughs> oh, just going to jail and getting raped every day isn't serious. Do you think you need to face some adversity to become a good bodybuilder? Yes. Yes. I have faced a lot. That's why I'm fucking awesome. Is there any great bodybuilders that haven't faced adversity? That haven't? Yeah. I don't how, think so. How much adversity has Phil faced? But like what? We don't know it's Phil's personal life. We have no idea. That's impossible. That's true. That's true. Like in the bodybuilding world or like the big, you know, obvious like Kai Green fucking problem is we base it off shit, but we base it off what we know of that person and you don't know everything about everything. You know nothing. Yeah. Like oh, okay. I agree with that. Yeah, obviously the, you talk about like the flex wheeler stuff or you're for the sake about for, this, or like, for the sake of the question, we're just gonna go with what we know. From what I know, no. So like Phil's Phil's had a pretty good. I mean, what about Ronnie? Ronnie had what adversity Ronnie ever had? Well, no. Ronnie, but Ronnie was like last a bunch of times at the Olympia. Yeah, but that's not adversity. He just like got good and then steamrolled everyone. No, I think that I think that shows some type. You you're able to fight through some adversity when you keep getting last and then you become the best. Like that's shows a tenac- shows tenacity. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I guess. But I mean, I think people also blow out how bad Ronnie was doing. Like, Ronnie was actually doing pretty good before he was, like, doing good good, you know? Like, he'd be, like, placing, like, top four to, like, the Toronto Pro or winning a Toronto Pro or, like, you know, he'd only be placing last at, like, the Olympia. Yeah. He was still doing good at the other shows. He wasn't, like, you know, True. as good as any guy that, like, you know, uh, Justin Rodriguez or any of these guys today, you know? But, yes, if but Justin, Justin, but if Justin Olympia, Rodriguez, we'd be like, holy fuck, yeah. That's what I was about to say. If Justin Rodriguez in two years wins the Olympia, you're going to be like, yeah, he went through some shit, and then he still ended up. Oh, right, right. So right, right. I think, Ronnie, I when I think of adversity, I mean, going through anything. So, like, Dorian had some tears that he went through. Like, I just think when you look at it publicly anyway, not like – we don't know, obviously know behind the scenes. But Phil seems to have a pretty easy sailing, you know, yeah, he got it from just bodybuilding. Yes. Yeah. If we're looking, yeah, like I know he got divorced. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know he had, he had a very quick rise for sure. Like he got there quick with like very little, you know, obstacles. Yeah. He didn't really experience any diver- any adversity in bodybuilding until the hernia. No. And then everything kind of was smooth sailing before that. So. Yeah. So the question, I guess, the answer to the question is, you don't have to. Uh, no. On the surface, yes. Why do you think you have to, guy? What? Why do you think you have to face adversity to become a good bodybuilder? I think mental toughness comes with adversity. I think you have to be very I agree with that. tough in the, in the sport of bodybuilding. I think that only comes with adversity. I'm going to say if, to achieve any success, you have to go through some shit. I agree with that. Yeah. yeah. What does that mean? We're best friends today. <laughs> me and you? Yeah. Well, you just got mad at me like a minute ago. I said you are going to jail. I don't get mad at you. I just act like I'm mad. Because and you got mad because I said you have a shitty, what did I say you had a shitty, shitty what? The front double. Full front left foot. What are you doing there? What are you... Look at all chicken breast. Okay, we're going to go. You guys stay on. Don't don't leave for a minute. All right. Okay, everybody. Talk to you guys next week. Yeah. All right, bye. Bye. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, share with your friends, and like the video. And if you get a chance, check out the description for all the different links to all the different places you can find Hostile and myself. And lastly, check out Hostile.com for our new line of supplements and all of our apparel and gear. Thanks again for watching.